Story quests, DLC quests, side quests. Should I do the side quests? The only way out, this is a side quest. No, I want to mark this in there. I want to mark this one. I'll just hold it down. Okay. Just as long as you don't turn them on at spontaneous times. Example, Furby and Pixel Chick. Because turning them off is impossible sometimes because they don't have off switches. I mean, if they have, like, brains or ro if robots have, like, intelligence, they should learn to turn themselves off at nighttime so that they can sleep alongside with humans That because we sleep at night. So when it's nighttime, they should have, like, some sort of intelligence to turn off at night if they want to sleep, if they want to recharge, you know? Because robots, they can't run forever. Some robots can't run forever. Like, if, if, they're, if they're turned off, they can just charge up while they're sleeping. It's kind of like, yeah, they, they're sleeping. Kind of like us, us humans. We need energy. And if we have no energy, we pretty much just pass out. It's like we turn off. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a phone. If the phone runs out, runs out of batteries, it turns off. And then if we run out of energy, we turn off. And if a robot runs out of batteries, it turns off. So we need to sleep to recharge ourselves, you know? You mean... Especially at night, yeah. Pray for you if that ever happens. You mean these are toys, so they aren't exactly robots? They are electronic pets, but not robots per se. Oh, ah, okay. So it couldn't have been a coincidence. Why if the peacekeepers are killing one what you do? That doesn't seem like... Well, I'm gonna do my side quest first. Actually... Wait, since this is a safe place, is there actually a shop here? Now that I think about it. Is there a shop here? Yeah, shop right here. Hey, what's up? Merchants. Merchants allow you to buy crap parts, new weapons, and other items, as well as sell valuables and unwanted loot they collected. They offer the most powerful weapons, so visit them often to increase your combat strength. You can find merchants in all of the main hubs, as well as inside assigned facilities and settlements. Great. That's great. Can I sell? I want to sell. I'll sell my junk weapons. My gray weapons. 29, 13, 13, 30. Hey, do you want my coins? Throw them to make noise and draw the attention of enemies. Okay, and I'm probably going to keep that. Goods. Okay, 200. Jesus Christ. Sell that. Sell this. Sell all these valuable. You don't sell all yet. Alright, I'm going to keep these because these are my resources. Ingredients for recipes. You almost turned off your laptop. Why you almost turn off your laptop for? Almost pressed the button. Hey, at least it's still on, right? You're still talking to me. You do not want to be turning off your laptop when you want to talk with me, you know? Otherwise, you'd miss on what I have to say. Tried pressing a button and then you realize it was the off button, but you turn it on as quick as you did. That's good. Jesus, what is wrong with me? I don't know what's wrong with you. There's nothing ever wrong with you, Justin. Accidents happens, buddy. Accidents happens. There's nothing ever wrong with you, though. Well, I have plenty of weapons, and if I need to make, like, medicine to heal up, I, I have, uh, I can, I can just make bandages to heal myself up. So, I probably don't need weapons, because I, I have four weapons on me. 
And they're all uh, blue, right? Uncommons, rare. Yeah, so I don't need to buy anything else, but I'll probably just buy uh, armor. Like buy, buy this plain hoodie. Plain hoodie. And then I'll buy... Uh, I'll probably buy this as well, solid shoes. It's in the Ranger class, so I'll just buy those just to have better uh, parkour, I guess. Just better stamina. Because I need stamina. If I want to fight and if, if I want to jump on stuff, you know. See, I look better now. Look at me. Modify armor pieces. Default appearance. Hide in appearance. Oh, so I can just hide them, huh? Oh, I can just hide the gloves. Dude, I look better without these on, dude. Literally. I look better without these on. Like, these bracers kind of ruins what I'm wearing right now. Yeah, just hide them. Look at me. I still have the gear armor because I you can just hide them. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, let me do my side quests. I'll do my side quests and see if I can get experience or just uh, something good after I complete it. And then I'll just do my main quest. Oh, thank you. Sometimes you do things and don't think first. But that's a, that's a rare. That's rare. Uh, well, it happens with everybody. Sometimes I do things without thinking. It's not rare for me. Oh, jeez. Help! There's a zombie chasing me. Hey, come in here. See what happens. Hello? Hey, come in here. See what happens. Why, are you scared? Come on. I guess they can't come in because UV light. Flippy scream at Tetsvaz. No zombie sounds like Flippy. Tell me otherwise. Well, there's zombies. They, the zombies in this game, they, they scream. Okay, where's my uh, side quest? Over there? It's a level requirement for this. Level 1. Find parts for Car Carlos. Invention. Electrical parts. Look for parts at the military patrol. Search the hardware store for parts. Okay, then I'll head over here first because it's uh, closer. Hey, what's up? I've always thought in every ending is a chance for a new beginning. Well, now's our chance, buddy. Hey, there's zombies over there. You want to help me fight them? Is this a zombie? Nah. What are you doing inside a car? Okay, let me test something. Can I lure zombies and can these people actually fight them? Should I be that type of dude who just leads zombies and then <laughs> just be an asshole? Hey, follow me. Follow me, tasty human flesh that y'all want to bite. Y'all want to eat, right? You starving? You starving? Come on, defend yourselves, people. There's zombies coming. But anyway, you've been playing on your old 3DS from high school, and you've been playing this old DS game from the 2009 called Styles Savvy. It's a super cute game. That's good, that's good Justin. I haven't heard of that game. The 3DS, it's really, really nostalgia to me. I really did enjoy the 3DS when it came out. I just enjoyed the handheld devices of the Nintendo DS. I just loved the games in it. Mostly Mario games. It's really nostalgia. Uh, 
Uh, Y'all want to help me or what? What's going on? Yeah, look at me just being an asshole, just leading zombies to see other humans. Come on, come closer. See what happens. Attack this guy. He's close. Come on, you have the wrench. You can, you can fight. You can attack him. Don't be a coward. Yeah, go fight them. Go fight them. Defend yourself. Hey, over here. This guy uh, is making fun of your sister, man. You better go stop him. I see something. This guy has been making fun of your sister. Something's going down. No. Is that? What's that there? Come on, you want him or what? I'm not gonna take your shit. Who's that over there? I see something. Alright, you know what? Yeah, that's what he gets. Alright, let's just do my side quest. You do need to share this one customer from the game who's a hairdresser and she has an in-game saloon with the player you can go to. And all you can say is she looks very familiar to a certain HDF character in your eyes. You send in DMs. Hold on. Alright, Justin. I'll take a look at it in a, in a few moments. Time to fuck off. Seriously. I can actually go inside here. Oh, slipping zombies. I'll take you down. Wanna take out that on your friend? Hey, at least killing these zombies and everybody sleeping, the zombies don't even wake them up. Oh, they they woken up. You still take him down though. This guy is now alerted. Yeah, next snap that bitch. Next snap you. Next snap every zombie I see. Die, zombie, die. Or else wants to get next snapped. You get, get your execution. That guy got an execution. And uh, you get an execution. Say hello to my guillotine. Get executed. Never freaking mind, dude. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'll turn in five minutes. Alright, snapped your neck. Hello, TJ. How are you? You see, you playing one of your favorites of all times. Hey, Sean. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm playing Dying Light 2. It's free on Steam, so I'm just playing... Well, it's free for the week on Steam. So I'm playing it... When I got the chance, and today's Friday, so I stream today. So I'm just getting a chance to play this on stream. And then afterwards, I'll probably just play Dying Light 1. I hope you've been doing good, Sean. It's been a little while since I talked with you. Free weekend because of the new firearms in the game? Nah, it's because the game got a whole massive overhaul. Hence the name Dying Light Tuesday Human Reloaded. And they made the game free for the weekend because of the huge changes that that uh, came for the game. Oh, what? You went up here before? Yeah. 
leveled up my combat. Yeah, all you do is just keep on neck snapping, zomb neck snapping zombies. And then you raise your combat proficiency. Alright, what can I get? Air kick? And drop it onto enemies from above. Nail them with a powerful kick. Dodge at the right time to stagger your enemy. Yeah, I'll probably just get this. Dodge at the right time to stagger your enemy. Try and you try and see if uh, pinging. Try and see if pinging users in my chat works. It, it does work, Justin. I see you uh, tagging Sean in your messages. You honestly see nothing new other than guns. Well, my friend Steven, he said that this update uh, completely revamped the game. Like, it completely changed the game. Changed the game graphical-wise. Changed, changed the whole zombie models and all that, you know? You explained everything to me, and then I kind of made a little joke that... That this whole update pretty much made this game into Dying Light 3, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. I am not gonna jump down there. Rooftops are your friends in this game, dude. Rooftops are definitely your friends. Inhibitor container detected. Inhibitor container? No. Nah. Going. I'm supposed to go over here because this is one of my quests over here. In my objective. This is one is where I meant to go to because it was close. It was close before. There's game over the first. Okay. I'm playing, I'm playing the first game after the free weekend is up for Dying Light 2. I'm playing, I'm playing the first game. Just as, I guess, just to see the difference, I don't know. I own Dying Light 1 because my friend Steven, he, uh, he gifted me the game because he wanted me to try it out and play it. But since this Dying Light 2 is free for the weekend, I just have the chance to play it and then I, I can go and play Dying Light 1 and just compare both games, you know? Just to see the difference. Oh, you're an enemy? Alright, come up here. Come up here. I dare, I dare ya. Come up here. Did I stag at ya? Did I stagger y'all? Yeah, I dug that, huh? Sagged yeah. Oh, I'm gonna die. Are that zombies. The hell's going on? Is there gas going off? Yeah, there's zombies. Oh god, Jesus. Yeah, there, there's zombies. The hell? Where'd they come from? Oh, you, you're the guy that I was fighting? You turned into a zombie? Now 
kick you off the top. Alright. Okay, my objective is over here. You would run if, when you see green gas at the start of the game turns all near by people into vile virals and it makes you lose immunity. Ah, uh, okay. Well, ah, uh, it's over for me. Is that a volatile? The game's telling me to go in here, by the way. The side mission. And then... It, it te it's telling me that this recommended uh, rank is level 1. Oh, that's kind of unfortunate. It has wires on them. Actually, I actually need to escape. There's like too many of them here. Alright, so th this quest, that's a uh, rank one, it's telling me to go in, it's telling me to go in there, and uh, there's, a, it seems there's like two vile tiles in there, or vile tiles. Uh, this, this, this game is great. Yeah, v v vile tiles will be in there a day, hence why is it called the night activity? Oh yeah, I forgot. Alright, I actually did, I actually forgot, sorry. If it's nighttime, then they'll be out because they don't burn in the sunlight. I mean, they do burn. Okay, what am I talking about? They, they do burn in the sunlight, so it's quite dangerous for them. At least some of them do, because I don't know why them right there is not burning in the sunlight. Same with this guy. Well, if you if you have to be there at night, then uh, I'm actually gonna do my uh, main quest then. Hack this quest. This quest sucks. You got me good. You got me for good advice for the game. Well, don't backseat game a bunch, Sean. Let me learn the game on my own. Just letting you know that, buddy. Don't help me unless I ask for it. Have to go over here. You won't. Just don't be afraid to ask what skills are good for, and advice. Yeah, I won't be afraid to ask for some help. Bees. Actually, I collect a lot of resources, and I haven't really grabbed that much other than two lockpicks and bandages. Throw our knives. Throw enemies or in interrupt their attacks or use them to knock down hanging objects. Oh. I got tons of rags and scraps. I might as well make them. To be honest, you would love to see TJ play Cole the Lamb because that's one of, your, of the many games you want to play. But hopefully, you'll get a chance to play it once you get a Switch for your birthday. Man, there are bees. There is Kemba Mile. You know, I never asked for advice and help, so why are you giving me these tips? I knew about that kind of because I've been seeing beehives and then I've been seeing Kemba Miles and near them. Hey, 
Hey, hack him. Hack on. Hey, you're a better climber than one crazy girl I used to know. <laughs> she was something. She even wanted to climb the tallest building in the city. The VNC Tower. <laughs> was she one of your wives? Almost. Too hot-tempered, even for my tastes. What about this passage to the center? Right. Look, from this roof, you can clearly see the Peacekeeper's base. So the PK run the city? They sure think they do. That's what they need the uniforms and ranks for. They tattoo them. They're fucking obsessed with hierarchy. <laughs> but they don't control the city. At least not all of it. Who controls the rest? The Colonel. The Renegades. Well, you won't meet them here. For now. Wait, you brought me here to take a look at the Peacekeepers? The PK are your ticket to the center. I told you the only way to get there is through the metro tunnels. I'll go inside and draw their attention away from the platform. Then you enter the metro technical station. There's an airlock there. We'll take it together to the central loop. We can't just ask them to let me through? No chance. Right now, each new face they see belongs to a suspect in their commander's murder. They know me. I trade with them sometimes. I deliver lamps from the girls, or goods from dark zones. There might be a few infected there. Nothing a pilgrim can handle, though. When you get to the main station, let me know. Now you better get some sleep. You'll head out at night, when there's less infected in the tunnels. Right. Yeah, good idea. <clears throat> huh? Oh my god. The hell? Hakon. There's a creature uh, I haven't seen before. What does it look like? Not a, not a big one. Extremely fast. Probably a bolter. You can find some interesting stuff on them. But catching one requires serious hunting skills. Now is not the best time for this, Aiden. Head for the tunnels. Your only complaint about this game is that there is no crossplay. I mean, if Pal World can have, why can't this game? I don't know. Why don't, why don't you ask this game to uh, add crossplay in it? Sometimes uh, devs just don't prefer to add crossplay to any sort of game. I mean, it, it would be pretty cool for the community, but devs gotta have their reasons for not having crossplay in any game, you know? Developers said it would be too hard. Oh, come on, dude. That's that's an excuse. If the dev's saying it'll be too hard to add crossplay, that's kind of the excuse right there. Bullshit. All the developers added crossplay to their other games. Why can't you? Why are you saying it's too hard? Using that as a sort of excuse. Pause the game when I uh, go into the locker room again. Are oh, you going to go through that, huh? You gonna come out of it? Oh. I got a little slow-mo when you uh, decapitate zombies. God dang it.
I'll, uh, I'm actually gonna have to, to hurry up because uh, if I stay in here for too long, I'll probably die. Because I am infected. At least, uh, at least you think, give me a sec. Yeah, that sounds a little bit of an excuse, to be honest. Yeah, it, yeah, it does. If, uh, if, uh, if other developers, uh, if they add crossplay to their games, and then if these developers are saying it's too hard to add crossplay to this game, that's uh, kind of the, an excuse. If other developers can pull it off, then so can you. If other companies can just do it, so can you. It's not hard for them, it shouldn't be hard for you. I'm in the tunnel. Okay. Now watch out for the infected. There might be a few, or a few dozen. I'm already in the PK base. I'll throw a UV flare through the vent, and you'll see how to get to the main station. Use UV shrooms? Do I have UV shrooms? I do. I only have two, okay. Did I use it or what? I did use it. Uh, well, uh, that's not good. Really, a lockpick? Are you kidding me? Use UV shroom. Shut up. Shut the crap up. I need to buy more UV shrooms then. UV light nearby, so it's gonna be over for me. I'm just, I'm just trying to do my quest, man. It's the only thing I can do. I'm shrooms. Never mind. I found shrooms. I'm alive. Never was over for me. Never will be. So as far as you can see, because of how the game is designed with the campaign and all. Uh, yeah. Could be one of the reasons.
Is there, is there more shrooms in here? I got to the flare. Oh. Look around. Well, I got a UV the flare here. To the main station should be well lit. <laughs> I've already lowered the guards upstairs. I'll chat them up while you get inside. <sighs> Oh, oh, shit, oh shit, dude. This thing shoots. It shoots. Back on. The situation here. Back on. Back on doesn't want to talk. Ow. Yeah, get away from that. Don't wanna wanna avoid conflict as much as I can in this game. Okay, there's more UV in here. All right, cool. Also, it's unbelievable how overpowered the store items are. You got the retro bundle for free, and the weapons do 412 and 424 damage for me. Uh, pretty overpowered. I'm on the platform. Fly Over back. The airlock. I'll be there in a second. All right, uh, give me a moment because I need to craft myself healing items. You know, just use it all. All right, there we go. I'll probably just craft a couple more of these. Throwing knives, I have six of them. Can I actually use them? Yeah, I can. How can I actually use them? These are, uh, ghosty keybinds. Consumable is H. Cycle, uh, I think it's equipment. Use equipment. Equipment, equipment, equipment. Does it say something about equipment and how do I use it? I don't want to be pressing uh, other things on accident. Use accessory. <laughs> okay, it's middle mouse. Okay. Still not as powerful as the uh, lunch day dropkick. Oh, Jesus Christ. I should have one-shot a mid-game boss. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where did he come from? He was wandering through the tunnels. Fucking bizarre riffraff. More like a renegade spy. Hmm. Doesn't look like a renegade. He's awake. What were you doing at our base? I'm only trying to get to the city center. The center? <laughs> the tunnel's gonna be closed until you hand over Lucas's killers. 
bizarre scum. How is it that you lot saw nothing, heard nothing, and you managed to forget about the ban on passage? Maybe we'll start punishing you by cutting off your hands. That would improve your memory, huh? What were you doing four days ago? I'm a pilgrim. Four days ago, I was a hundred kilometers away. Enough, Anderson. We need the truth, and you won't get it through coercion. But Commander Lucas, Lucas always is said... dead, and now I'm in command. You've read the reports. A pilgrim appeared in the bazaar yesterday. It looks like he's not lying. Leave us, Sergeant. I want to talk to him alone. Where did you come from? From Crossdale River. That's over 1,500 kilometers from here. It's actually more than 2,000. The freeway bridge has collapsed. There are no straight paths. And you've managed to make it so far away. Impressive. What's it like out there these days? What's it like outside the walls? You never know where danger's gonna come from. Always new territories, new threats. And you came here to take shelter. I came here because I'm looking for someone. And a lot of people are said to have survived in Villador. You're looking for someone? Hmm, well, maybe I can help you. But not for free. I'm used to trading. What do you need? No nonsense. That's good. The tunnel will be closed until I find our commander's murderer. Commander Lucas. His body was found in the bazaar. Horribly mutilated. The people of the bazaar aren't making this easy. They're proud and loyal. They refuse to turn anyone in. But Command has lost its patience. I have orders from the top, Pilgrim. If the inhabitants of Old Villador continue to revolt, our army will come here and burn the bazaar to the ground. Now, I'd rather avoid that. And what do you need from me? Lucas had a weapon. A rare set of brass knuckles called the Lazarus. This is the key to finding the killer. If you learn anything about the Lazarus, tell me and I will most certainly return the favor. It's worth a lot, and we didn't find it on his body. I think someone from the bazaar may have appropriated it. So if I find that weapon, you'll let me through to the center? It's not that easy. Vilador suffered much. First, it was isolated from the outside world because of infection. Then the walls became its salvation. But people here learned not to trust easily. I won't open the passage until I've caught the killer. But if you can find the Lazarus, I'll remember that. You'll be the first one through once justice is done. Sounds as if I have no other choice. I'll try. Look around, ask people, and don't come back empty-handed. Good luck. All right, safe zone unlocked.